Let's return to the war in Ukraine. And the commander-in-chief of Ukraine's army, Valery Zeluzhny, has laid out his strategy for defeating Russia and the challenges his country faces. With increasingly limited funding from its allies, he says Ukraine must seize the moment and improve its use of technology to commit fewer resources and inflict maximum damage on the enemy. His stance comes amid rumours of a rift between the general and Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky. Let's go live now to Professor of International Security at the University of Birmingham, Stefan Wolf. Professor Wolf, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, talk about General Zelensky's strategy. What does he say he thinks they should be doing? Well, I think what Zelensky is saying in his uh, recent uh, essay is that there is a much greater role for technology, especially for uh, unarmed uh, vehicles. Um, Ukraine has been very successful using both air drones and sea drones uh, over the past several months. And Zaluzhny wants this to be better integrated into Ukraine uh, military uh, doctrine. Uh, that, in his words, would require both more support from state institutions, better financing, more flexibility, but probably also different types of training of new personnel being brought into the armed forces. Uh, well, it's interesting you mentioned funding because uh, Ukraine only has a, a limited pot. It's been relying heavily on support from both its European allies and in the United States. We heard earlier on this week about the funding approval in Europe. It's still pending in America. Are there backup plans in case it doesn't come? I think the backup plan uh, would be to have more public-private partnerships, uh, so where there would be more uh, private sector investment, especially uh, from defense companies, into the development uh, and production of new technologies, which then, of course, also could be uh, made available to other uh, countries. Uh, so there could be an actual business case uh, for investing uh, from the private sector uh, into the defense industrial base in Ukraine. We're obviously looking at this through the international angle, but there is, of course, a domestic angle on this as well. And General Zeluzhny has butted up, if you like, against uh, President Zelensky on a few occasions. How are the two men perceived within Ukraine? I think it's it's quite uh, quite similar and different at the same time. Uh, so they both have relatively high approval ratings, uh, but Zeluzhny's approval ratings are uh, significantly higher even than Zelensky's. Uh, Zeluzhny probably in the uh, mid to high 80s uh, in terms of the trust that uh, Ukrainians have in him. Uh, Zelensky is still very good, um, sort of mid uh, to high 60s. But it is a difference, and I think that has to some extent uh, contributed to the reported rift uh, between the two. But this is not just a personal rivalry, and I think it's important to, to keep that in mind. This is really also a difference uh, in terms of the general strategic direction of uh, the war, where Zaluzhny, I think, um, has uh, his feet more on the ground, has a better grasp of what is actually possible uh, for Ukraine where Zelensky primarily makes uh, uh, very aspirational uh, statements about uh, the full recovery of uh, Ukraine's um, territory, which Zeluzhny doesn't deny uh, is uh, feasible and uh, desirable, but they probably differ quite significantly over the methods and the time frame within which this can be achieved. Okay. Stefan Wolf, Professor of International Security at the University of Birmingham. Professor Ray, good to get your insights. Thank you.